Welcome to the table. Here's how you play Yablon, also known as Red Dog. To play, you need a standard set of 52 cards, and you'll need to remove the Jokers. And before we deal the cards, the players must ante. So each player places their bet in what's called the pool. And here we're marking the pool with a tray. Every player puts an even amount in the pool. And that's put aside. Now the cards are dealt one at a time and each player only gets two and they're face down. Now for purposes of demonstration we're going to show the players cards but in a real game everybody looks secretly at their cards. So let's see what everybody has. At this point Everybody decides whether or not they want to bet. What exactly are they betting on? Players are hoping that their third card falls in between the range of their two cards. So for instance, the blue player here has a six and an eight. There's not much wiggle room there. There's only one possible card that could win, which is a seven. Of course, uh, this player won't win at all, so they're probably not going to bet for this round. And this player can get a 7, 8, or a 9, so there's a 3 card spread. This is a 4 card spread. 3, 4, 5, or 6. So this looks like the best hand. This player might bet. Maybe they're feeling kind of lucky. So they put their bet next to their cards. This player is out. They give the cards to the dealer to discard. This player, maybe they're feeling lucky too. They're going to place their bet. And I, as the dealer, am also going to place my bet. Now, everybody gets a third card. Okay, the blue player got a card that was outside of the range from six to eight. So these get discarded and they lose their bet into the pool. This player did not participate. The green player has one more card, and it looks like they've lost. They did not get a 7, 8, or a 9. So these cards are discarded, and that goes into the pool. And this card does fall within the range from 2 to 7. So how is a player paid? Well, they take whatever their bet was, and they match it from the pool. So if I bet one chip, then I would take an even amount out of the pool, and that would go to my bank. Now you might be wondering what happens if the pool starts to build up. Before the game, all the players agree on a maximum amount. So here we're playing with four players. We might pick some number that's evenly divisible by four, like say 12 or 16, and then when the pool reaches that maximum, they're evenly distributed back to the players, and the betting continues again with the pooling and the ante. And that is how you play Yablon.